Hey guys, Triple Way back. I'm Aaron. Rick. And we are here with a winner from our poll, which is Ratatouille. Uh, which the other guys have already seen. Yep. But ironically, the guys with no kids. <laughs> yeah. The guys with no kids have seen it, the guys with kids haven't seen it. Very true. I don't, I don't know why. But uh, I've seen a lot of the Pixar stuff, but I, this one was one that just kind of went under my radar and I just never really checked it out. I think Cars was really the last one that I had seen every Pixar movie up until. And then from there, it's just been a smattering of stuff. That's true. Like, I haven't really, I think I've seen parts of two and three of Cars. I haven't seen those. Yeah. There's, a few, there's definitely a few things where I haven't seen all of Pixar. So, um, I haven't seen the sequel to Monsters, Inc. Monster University? Yeah, I think that's it. I have seen that one. Um, so, there's some things like that that I've, I've missed as well. But uh, this one here, like, I feel like... Most of what I know about this was what we saw in a movie recently. Mm-hmm. You know which exactly is what like, you're talking about? Like, that's the extent. Like, sure. I'm familiar with the concept, yeah. but I don't know what happens, what the story is, or no? what we're doing. No idea? I'm imagining, um, damn, what was the name of that movie with, uh, it's Matthew Broderick, right? Mouse Trap? Mouse Trap? Mouse Trap. Mouse Trap, yeah. It of. had the voice of Timon, I think, was like the main character, right? Yeah. Like, they were trying yeah. to catch it. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember that. Sure. I don't think it's this. Probably not. I think it's different. No. So. so we're going to be getting into Ratatouille. We are going to be watching it from Disney+. Plus. Um, and if you're interested in watching the entire movie with us, make sure you check out full length over at patreon.com slash blindwave. You can find links down in the description below. Just sync up with Disney+. Plus. You can watch the entire movie with us. So it should be fun. This is going to make us hungry, isn't it? It's very likely. Damn it. My knowledge of cooking begins and ends with the Great British Bake Off. Begin- so you only know desserts? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much more food you could have, Rick. So much more. <laughs> they do savory stuff. <laughs> You're like, ah, I know meatloaf. Like, that's basically a meat cake. <laughs> <laughs> I have a highly developed sense of taste and smell. That'd be bad for a rat. Flour, eggs, sugar, mm. vanilla <laughs> bean. Oh, small twist of lemon. He just doesn't oh, eat it. You that... can smell all that? Pat and You have a gift. I like it. This yeah. is a meal. So what's wrong with having highly developed senses? Whoa, 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 don't eat that! What's going on here? Turns out that funny smell was rat poison. Oh, Save the whole clan! The talent was useless. Well, damn. He's like, look what you're you, eating your words, Rick. This much I knew. If you are what you eat, then I only want to eat the good stuff. But to my dad... Food is fuel. You get picky about what you put in the tank, your engine is going to die. Now shut up and eat your garbage. But they were going to be thieves. <laughs> Why not steal the good stuff in the kitchen? Stay out of the kitchen and away from the humans. It's yeah. dangerous. I know I'm supposed to hate humans, but there's something about them. They they don't just survive. They discover. They create. I mean, just look at what they do with food. Why are you walking like that? <laughs> I don't want to constantly have to wash my paws. Do you ever think about how we walk on the same paws that we handle food with? Do you ever think about what we put into our mouths? All the time. Uh, when I eat, I don't want to so don't wipe your ass with your hand. Like us. You use your hand? Hey, Remy, you think that maybe we shouldn't be so... Oh! <laughs> that storm got close. Uh, Real quick. You must not let anyone define your limits because of where you come from. Your only limit is your soul. What I say is true. You want a fat chef and a skinny doctor. I guess so. That guy understands health, that guy understands food. <laughs> Gusto's restaurant lost one of his five stars after scathing with you by Francis' top food critic. Ah, oh, that guy. He's going to murder him. It was a severe blow to Gusto. And the broken-hearted chef died shortly afterwards. He already died, right? Shit! Meant the loss of another star. So now it's down to a three-star. Oh no! A uh, four-star, I think. Well, I think he said he died, so it went down another star. Oh, she's pulling out a gun! Oh, it's an umbrella. Okay. Oh, no! It's not. <laughs> <laughs> no! Well, this is what my mom does to spiders. I, you believe it? Oh God! Jeez! Jesus, old lady! How many shots does it have? I don't know. Oh, Whoa. damn. Click. Gotta be out. There we go. Whew. It's gotta be out. Man, if I saw that, I'd be like, I think fucking talking? Yeah. You know? Like, <laughs> 
Let go! You didn't let go! Oh no. Who's the whole top scurry? Uh oh. <laughs> Look at that! Oh my god. Yeah. At that point, you just you move. Holy shit, man! Good lord. I didn't realize how many were in there. Oh, this is how we got to the. Okay. Damn! This grandma, and she's in a gas mask now? Oh! Jeez! Oh no, which way? This final should go west. Which way's west? <laughs> you mean left? Me? You mean left? <laughs> Alright, he went west, Rick. Oh shit, no, you should win east! Like a ride at a theme park. If you focus on what you've left behind, you will never be able to see what lies ahead. Now go up and look around. Hmm. Go up, look around, find four turtles, create four chefs. That'd be pretty cool. This is just like a secret <laughs> ninja turtle chef family. Oh, uh, that'd be great. Holy hell, how did I not watch this sooner? I know so little about this movie, it's possible. <laughs> Oh! What? What? Okay. Wait. Amore. Was that... What happened? <laughs> Were they filming something? The French are very... Was there a real fight and then the gun went off and they just started kissing? Oh, him? He's nobody. Not nobody. He is part of the kitchen. Yeah, he's a plungeur or something. He washes dishes or a takes out the garbage. He doesn't cook. <laughs> but oh, he's he built a sauce! Oh, no. How do you know? No! No! No, this is terrible! He, 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 he's ruining the soup! And, and nobody's noticing it! Oh, he, my gosh! Your restaurant do something! What can I do? I am a figment of your imagination. <laughs> he's ruining the soup! We gotta tell someone that he's not... Not gonna help their reviews. Not having a rat there? Yeah. Unless he's a clean rat, and now he is. <laughs> oh! Oh no, this is the part when they lose a star, Rick. Don't! Ugh. Just find a place to hide from it. Oh, oh man. She is still messing with the soup. I don't think he fixed it. Yeah, I think you're right. What can you do? He's trying to fix it. <laughs> I think you better just start over. Yeah, I've definitely been to that point before. Where it's, there's no saving this. It's gone. <laughs> He's washing his hands. <laughs> Broth, cream. <laughs> that was cool. That garlic? Do you know the easy way of peeling garlic? You can do that too, but if you put it like in a container, like a Tupperware, you just start shaking it, it peels it. Really? Usually. Huh. I've, I've tried it a few times and some people have been like, look at this! Yeah. Wait, why is he in a chef outfit? That's what they gave him for the garbage. Oh, okay. Where is the soup? Out of my way! Oh. Garbage boy! I think the law is on my side. Laos! Who has thrown out this man? After you put him in the duck mask to squeeze the fat out of his head! Oh, no. Squeeze the fat out of his head! It's the soup! Too late! Slept the kitchen! If she write a review to that effect and find out you fired the cook responsible? <laughs> He's a garbage boy. Who made something she liked. How can we claim to represent the name of Gusto if we don't uphold his most cherished belief? And Every new, anyone can cook. That, Mademoiselle Tatu. Anyone can cook. They think you might be a cook. But you know what I think, Linguini? I think you are a sneaky, overreach. 
little rat. Rat! What should I do now? Kill it. Now? No. Not in the kitchen. Are you mad? Do you know what would happen to us if anyone knew we had a rat in our kitchen? He did. He got a fire. He got a torch. Oh, my gosh. Take it away from here. Far away. Kill it. Dispose of it. That's like for the creme brulee or whatever, right? Like, you just got to torch that rat. So how are we going to get to him trying to cook? I mean, I guess the rat speaks French. I mean, we saw the old lady, and she just heard like, kick, 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 kick. yeah, but she wasn't listening. It's like Horton here in Yahoo. Oh, if you want to listen, you hear. I need this job. I've lost so many. I don't know how to cook, and now I'm actually talking to a rat as if you. <laughs> huh? Did you nod? Have, He's been. Have you been nodding? <laughs> you understand me? So I'm not crazy. <laughs> Well, I don't know about that. You need an outside source in this <laughs> moment. Hey, they like the soup. <laughs> they like the soup. <laughs> How is this rat gonna communicate without being seen? You know. That look up was so good. This is not gonna work, little chef. I'm gonna lose it if we do this anymore. We gotta communicate. I can't be constantly checking for a yes or no headshake from a rat. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, a rat right next to you. Get out. One can get too familiar with budget bubbles, you know. What does that mean? <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> I don't think it works that way. <laughs> I thought it would be like a code, or like if I pull this, yeah, you do that. But sure. This is this is quite direct. Don't cut yourself. <laughs> oh god, that big knife. Yeah, let's not start with a knife. Stir, whisk, 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 stir. Stir, whip, stir, whip, whip. Come on, faster all together now. Cooking can be fun. Does he have enough control that he could, like, hit him off if he wanted to? Or is the rat in complete control? Uh, it seemed like when he picked it up, it was like he went, mm. Mm. Like, the rats could take over the world. If every rat took a human? Except for bald people. It'd be like a giant mech. <laughs> Man, bald people are the immunity. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I don't know oh. what this. Oh, Okay. Yeah, I was started with this. Yeah, yeah. I would have knives <laughs> last. Because while the rat's not in danger. Oh, we there caught we that, go. though. No, you listen. I just want you to know exactly who you are dealing with. How many women do you see in this kitchen? Well, I... <laughs> Only me. Why do you think that is? Well, I... Because how cuisine is an antiquated hierarchy built upon rules with them by stupid old men. <laughs> rules designed to make it impossible for women to enter this world. But still I'm here. Because I'm the toughest cook in this kitchen. I have worked too hard for too long to get here, and I am not going to jeopardize it for some garbage boy who got luck. Got it? Go! Oh, Is like Gusto's son or something? Get my lawyer. Oh. Maybe. The worst has done time. What for? No one know for sure. He changes the story every time you ask him. I defrauded a major corporation. I robbed the second largest bank in France using only a ballpoint pen. I created a hole in the ozone of Ravignon. I killed a man with this thumb. <laughs> <laughs> the rat! Drop my keys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. I, I love him seeing it and it immediately cuts and you don't see what happened. 
Oh no. <laughs> he seems so crazy. I love him up there too. Street rat. What are you eating? I don't know. I don't really know. But ratatouille. It's like a stew, right? Why do they call it that? If you're gonna name a food, you should give it a name that sounds delicious. Ratatouille doesn't sound delicious. It sounds like rat and patootie. <laughs> Rat patootie. Rat patootie. Does not sound delicious. <laughs> I'm tired of taking. I want to make things. I want to add something to this world. You're talking like a human. Who are not as bad as you say. Oh, yeah? And they're, you know, not so bad as you say they are. Come with me. I got something I want you to see. Uh oh. It's the head of the old lady. No, it's probably like dead rats or something by people, right? Why <laughs> the head of the old lady? They went back and killed her. <laughs> oh, an extermination. Oh, damn. Why didn't you have hang in the window? Look, right? Yeah, I don't know. That's terrible. I mean, I guess it gets your point of Maybe they're fake. Yeah, or probably fake. Dad, I don't believe it. You're telling me that the future is, can only be, more of this? This is the way things are. You can't change nature. Change is nature, Dad. Where are you going? With luck. Forward. Also, don't forget about the plague. He took out a number of us as well. That's true, but I don't think they were trying to. <laughs> <laughs> Intentions were maybe different then. Dude, can he control him while he's asleep? I guess so. What? What, you can't tell me? <laughs> oh, forgive me for intruding on your deep personal relationship with the chef. <sighs> You were different. I thought you thought I was different. I thought. <gasps> hey! oh. I didn't have to help you. If I looked out only for myself, I would have let you drown. Wait, wait. wait. Uh, Colette! Oh, it's over, little chef. I can't do it anymore. Don't do it. I have a secret. Uh, it's sort of disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, you want to know why I'm such a fast learner? You want to know why I'm such a great cook? Don't laugh. <laughs> I'm going to show you. He's not going to be there. No, no! Yeah. <gasps> Close your eyes. Huh. Do you think the rat's going to be involved in every step of the relationship? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> At what point do you have to take that hat off? <laughs> Even his typewriter is a skull. Right. It's a coffin! <laughs> what is up with this guy? Is he a vampire? He's great. Gustave has finally found his rightful place in history right alongside another equally famous chef. Boyardee. Monsieur Boyardee. Yes! yes. Dude, is that what his sous chef little, little guy's been doing? He did the corn dogs? Like, he's just making, like, frozen food, like, easy money? He ruined the the brand. He's your son. I have a son. How could you not know <laughs> this? I am a figment of your imagination. You did not know. How could I? Well, <laughs> your son is the rightful owner of this restaurant. Oh no! 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 Don't hurt! Go under something. Oh, jeez. That's shit. No, we need that letter. Oh. Into the water. Oh. Oh, he kind of glided. Oh, now 
he's really gliding. Mario's cape. Yeah, right? No, you're not. Oh! Nice. Magic. <laughs> you get out of my office. He's not in your office. You are in his. Oh. Okay. Well, damn. We found out, huh? I figured there has to be another fall. <laughs> oh, with the thumb. <laughs> That's such a good way to do it. No words at all. It's so good. Oh, the critic. The vampire. You think uh, Remy refuses? You are Monsieur mm. Linguine. Maybe, yeah. That Pardon could be the big challenge. Pardon me for interrupting challenge. your premature celebration. He might be a vampire. I think he's a vampire. Look, look at his oh, I canines. Know. Oh, I know. And you're thin for someone who likes food. If I don't love it, I don't swallow. Pray you don't disappoint me. Okay. Mm. Take a break, little chef. I'm not your puppet, and you're not my puppet controlling guy. <gasps> Oh, cool off and get your mind right, little chef. It's like you're his fluffy buddy or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, Remy. I know there are too many guys. You I know what? Them. It's okay. I've been selfish. You guys oh, hungry? No. <laughs> Go on in. Right. Dinner's on me. We'll go after closing time. In fact, tell Dad to bring the whole plan. Oh no! That's so many rats. They're gonna eat him out. That's a cute, cute little. I don't think you finished your sentence. What? And if you did, it sounded weird. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't want to fight. I've been under a lot of, you know, pressure. A lot has changed in not very much time, you know? Oh I'm suddenly gosh. a gusto, and I gotta be a gusto, you know? People will be disappointed. No! It's, I haven't been fair to you. You've never failed me. Oh my gosh! You've been a good friend. The most honorable friend that I could ever have. What is this? What's going on? Oh my gosh. That's. Oh, rats. You're stealing food? Get out! You and all your rat buddies! And don't come back or I'll treat you the way restaurants are supposed to treat pets! Well. Your dad just saw something he's never seen before, are. though. And he was apologizing rat. to that rat. It's true. Well, he'll leave soon, and now you know how to get in. Observe. No, wait. No, the trap. Oh, no. Trap. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. What do we do? I'll, I'll, I'll go get that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You might think. Man, you would have never caught him if it wasn't for his stupid brother. Only a rat. I have in mind a simple arrangement. You will create for me a new line of Chef Skinner frozen foods. And I, in return, will not kill you. <laughs> do you think all the rats can save him? Or do you yeah. think they let him go because that's... Yeah, they save him. I don't know if they'll save him in time, though. Mm. I'd like some fresh, clear, well-seasoned perspective. Can you suggest a good wine to go with that? I am. Uh... Very well. Since you're all out of perspective and no one else <laughs> seems to have it in this bloody town, I'll make you a deal. You provide the food, I'll provide the perspective. Um, your dinner selection? Tell your chef, Linguini, that I want whatever he dares to serve me. Tell him to hit me with his best shot. Please. I'm sick of pretending. I pretend to be a rat for my father. I pretend to be a human through Linguini. I, I pretend you exist, so I have someone to talk to. You only tell me stuff I already know. I know who I am. Why do I need you to tell me? Why do I need to pretend? But you don't, Remy. You never did. <laughs> oh! Dad! Hey! Hey! 
Brother, Emil! Yay. I love you guys! Oh, he's just standing there. Touch him! I have no talent at all. But this rat, he's the one behind these recipes. He's the cook. <laughs> the real cook. You've been giving me credit for his gift. I know it's a hard thing to believe, but hey, you you believed I could cook, right? <laughs> I don't know. If he gives a thumbs up, I don't know if it's a threat. Oh, does he quit? You did lie to me. Hmm. Yeah, everyone quits? <gasps> she should be the most angry. Yeah. He the rat kissed her. That's true. <laughs> Man. All the rats start cooking. <laughs> We're not cooks, but we are family. You tell us what to do and we'll oh, get it done. This would be good. You can peel the potatoes. Oh. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 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 They have a Delta team? You're gonna have to kill him. We had time up, put him in the trunk. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my god, that would be a sight, wouldn't it? That would be terrifying. <laughs> oh my gosh, the grading method. It's a peasant. Oh. They're gonna make Show ratatouille. You serve this to Eagle? Mm. So, oh, they got him. It's not He's hot. hog tied. <laughs> it's not hot cuisine. Yeah, sure. Pickle? I'm out. I don't know if that's a pickle. Who was it? Whoa. Whoa, what is this? I don't know what ratatouille is. I've never had it. I've never had it either. Pepperonis, you know, like colorful pepperonis. Like layered. Oh, oh! It took him back to his childhood. His mama made it. <laughs> he skinned his knee. Yeah, and it made him feel better. Yep. <sighs> he swallowed. <laughs> And he just looks so happy. <laughs> At first, Ego thinks it's a joke, but as Linguini explains, Ego's smile disappears. Dude, this would be a hell of a deal for a mouse, too, you know? It doesn't react you guys cook beyond food. asking an occasional sure. question. <laughs> and when the story is done, Ego stands, thanks us for the Back meal, and leaves without another word. Hmm. In many ways, the work of a critic is easy. We risk very little, yet enjoy a position over those who offer up their work and themselves to our judgment. We thrive on negative criticism, which is fun to write and to read. The average piece of junk is probably more meaningful than our criticism designating it so. But there are times when a critic truly risks something, and that is in the discovery and defense of the new. Hmm. The world is often unkind to new talent new creations not everyone can become a great artist but a great artist can come from anywhere i will be returning to gusto soon hungry for more it doesn't say why he doesn't mention anything yeah he speaks all around it the only thing predictable about life is its unpredictability yep well we had to let skinner and the health inspector loose and of course they ratted us out. <laughs> the food didn't matter. Once it got out, there were rats in the kitchen. Oh man. The restaurant was closed and 
Ego lost his job and his credibility. <laughs> He's just a waiter. I like how he has a little ladder and everything, too. Oh, yeah, I like that, too. A little balcony. Can I interest you in a dessert this evening? Don't you always. Which one would you like? Surprise me. <laughs> They got a line. Ah, La Ratatouille. I wonder if it's known at all of like how sure. they cook it. Like, did they get an exhibition? Yeah, I don't know. Do you have to sign a waiver when you go to eat? I'm okay with this. All right, Ratatouille. Ratatouille. It's funny. Like, what I knew of it was like, I knew the idea of like you have a rat on the head cooking. Yeah, yeah, Rat was, like, good chef. Chef didn't know what he was doing, but I figured he, like, talked to him. Gotcha. Like, I didn't figure he actually controlled yeah. him. Yeah, like, when you were saying some stuff, I wasn't sure, because like, I was like, well, I, I know. And it might have been, uh, I think maybe when one of the games I played, I think uh, Kingdom Hearts references this a little bit, too. Mm. But they don't have the story element. Sure. It's just, like, you cook stuff. So I'm familiar with the idea of, like, well, the rat's doing something. Yeah. And But I don't know how that operates. Yeah. I thought, what I thought was going to happen was kind of in the same idea where it's like, well, what if there's a signal? It's like, yeah, sure, what if this means to do this? What if this means sure. this? You know, one tug means yes, two tugs mean no, you know, like whatever. And it's just like, he's just telling him in some kind of tugging method. Yeah. The weirdest part of the whole thing is that it just works by just tugging his hair, his whole body operates. Yeah, like is that but, unique to him? Or yeah. would that work on any person with hair yeah, I don't in know. the world? Could you take the girl, uh, Co uh, Colette? Colleen. Colette? Uh, Colette. Is it Clo or Co Co Colette? Colette. Um, would it work for her? Like if you just grabbed him and started tugging her hair? I don't know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I was interested in that a little bit. But other than that, everything else was just, I felt like it just kind of made sense. He has a really good sniffer, so he's familiar with all these ingredients. At that old lady's house, he watched cooking shows every day. Sure, yeah. Um, yeah, and he just has a refined palate and like sense of smell. Yeah. I liked how the rats used him to like, this is poison food, and this is not poison food. <laughs> but he wanted sure. more out of that, so. I, I, more out of life. Now they've made a restaurant where rat and it's, I mean, it's kind of terrible. Because, like, there's this clear discrimination between these two largely equally sentient creatures. Sure. Kind of thing. Yeah. But, like, they can't communicate. Like, I wonder how the world goes from here, you know? <laughs> like. Sure. Like, like, do rats get rights? Or, yeah, I don't know. Like, the, I, I want to know if that restaurant is actually, like, are you going in knowing that it is a rat cooking? Right. Or is it just like it's called Ratatouille? They don't reference it. Obviously, Ego knows. Sure. But he, even in his review, he didn't say who the chef was. He just said that he found that anyone could cook, you know? Right. And he nods towards knowing. And then when the public finds out, it seems like, well, I've, I've lost all credibility. In that review, he... You know, he lost everything. He risked everything in that review. Being sure. like, a rat cooked this, and I'm writing that it was really good. But everyone's like, a rat, no. But <laughs> I think the thing is, like, they're known for not being the cleanest animals. Definitely. But yeah. they steamed themselves and washed their hands and stuff and was like... Yeah, I suppose. I it, mean, people keep rats as pets. Sure. You know? I mean, humans can be gross in Germany, too. Oh, yeah. But and when we're the cooking, that's why there's, like, must wash your hands and all yeah. that kind of it's stuff. It's like Mike Rose going doing dirty jobs. Yeah. He's washing up before he's cooking dinner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he didn't just jump into that whatever <laughs> and then go home and cook food so but uh but yeah that's the thing i was like man i wonder what they know like everyone's lined up obviously the food's good yeah i did like the little mouse like area for food where they had that, a little dining that. area because mm -hmm. then he can actually make food for his family that was very viable to me it made me think of uh uh rescuers did you ever see rescuers oh, sure yeah i remember one of the scenes in one of them i don't know if it was down under which one but like they had a very fancy restaurant and up in like the chandelier yeah. was like a little fancy mouse restaurant and they would take like scraps and turn it into a soup or something you know mm -hmm. and serve it to them so sure. it kind of reminded me of that a little bit um one thing I really like is uh I really enjoy ego mm -hmm. like I like the aesthetics of where he lives <laughs> how it seems like he's just a vampire so sinister how he has no color but then when he eats the ratatouille and Thinks back to his childhood, which I, I love that idea too, because there's so many times where like, like a smell will trigger a memory or something, you know. And you're like, ah, yeah. oh, this reminds me of my grandma's house or whatever the case is. 
I love that triggering him back to like his childhood, remembering his mom making him ratatouille when he scraped his knee because he fell off his bicycle. You sure. know, I really like that. Yeah, like you know, if like a chef could remake something my mom made, and like to me it would be delicious. But if you give it to someone else who doesn't have that connection, like does it taste as good? Sure. Kind yeah. Thing, you know. I don't know. Like I, I like as a kid all the time we'd have like <coughs> like macaroni and cheese, peas, and tuna fish. Like, just all mixed together in this mm-hmm. sort of, like, casserole kind of thing. Yeah. And, like, I still like that, but... Would everyone like that? Yeah, would everyone like that? <laughs> sure. I mean, the thing could be, too, like, this is, like... I mean, is that, like, tuna noodle casserole? Because we had something kind of like that. It didn't have cheese, but I remember it being, like, egg noodles and peas and, like, tuna and, like, crackers on the top of it and stuff. This was literally... You would make macaroni and cheese. Mm-hmm. You would put tuna in it and cooked and, peas and in peas. it. And that, And you're done. Gotcha. That was it. Mm. Like, maybe there's a mixture where it's, like, a, a blend of it is reminiscent of yeah, this. Yeah, he's it, making the gourmet version. But it has a better flavor to it than just a homemade. Yeah. So. But the thing I also like, besides it kind of giving him color and changing his attitude a little bit, um, I like the, like, monologue he had and, like, the bit of his review that he talked about. Sure. About the um, importance of critics. Yeah. Because, well, and it's, it's mentioning, like, when he was talking about it, I was thinking about, like, well, reaction channels often do reacting and they do reviews and it's kind of in that critic idea and just thinking about the idea of what power they have to review something and how negative stuff can just thrive and people like watching it and arguing over it and stuff like that too and it's it's easy to jump into the negative which i think is what he did Mm -hmm. like he has that idea of like i only swallow what tastes good you know and every that's why i'm thin because everything tastes terrible and i don't (laughs) eat a lot um but like having that thing, like people go to him because he has this hatred and what did he say and why does he why is it so negative and whatnot? I just thought it was an interesting way of him kind of like in a way coming to terms with the negativity he had, but now he can look at like, you know, the the anyone can cook idea and how he specified like, well, maybe not necessarily anyone really can cook. Sure. But a really good cook could come from anywhere. So limiting it being like, oh well, you're not from France, you're not from Paris. You know, like, doesn't mean there's not good food out there. Sure. So, I I just, I I really liked his talk about, like, the use of their power. Yeah. You know, and that that critic removed a star and lowered that whole restaurant as a whole, you know? And that was the power that that one man seemed to have. Yeah, no, it's it's interesting to think, too, just in our lifetime, how reviews and what those mean have changed. Because, like, before, like, reviews were to, like, direct your money, Mm -hmm. right? Like a movie review, do you go out and watch this, uh, buy a ticket to the movie or like buy a movie or sure, something yeah. like that? Like now everything is streaming, like games, there's Game Pass. So like now it's, I find more about highlighting like what to spend your time on. Sure. Because there's just so much out there, it's so available and like there's not the money aspect involved anymore. No, I get you. Like I already have Disney Plus but there's so much on there, what should I watch? Yeah, I can't I watch have, all this, there's not enough time of the day. Yeah, I can't see everything on Netflix. What are the best things to watch? So you look at reviews to be like, where should I push my time that I normally have? I mean, I think there's a little bit with money too, of like, should I go see a movie in the theaters or whatnot? Um, but the other thing too is that there's there's so many more options for reviews too, I think. Like, I don't think I hear about the idea of like a, like a Roger and Ebert, Right, right? Like that was those were the review guys from yeah. movies, you know. Now they had a TV show. Yeah, like, they had physical like newspaper reviews. Yeah, exactly. And nowadays, like I feel like you get, especially with the internet, you can find reviews from anyone you want to, pretty much. Yeah, you can just you follow know? someone on Twitter as the same taste as you. Yeah, and just and just be like, well, what did they think about it? And there's your review. And I don't feel like we have that same. I guess you have like websites, sure. like you have IGN, but IGN doesn't have like. A Roger and Ebert, I don't feel like, of yeah. video game reviewing. Yeah, there aren't superstars, or if there are, they're in, like, niche genres. Like, I can name you some board game reviewers. Sure. And stuff, but that sort of cultural mass, I feel like, you know, we probably haven't got that since Roger and Ebert. Yeah, I just find that to be interesting with, like, the turn of, you know, having the internet and having just access to things so, so much easier. Like, you don't have those kind of, like, things. Like, even in, like, reaction reviews and stuff, there's so many that people can find, like, they can find Blind Wave or they can find another one on YouTube or whatever and see. And even sometimes, like, TV shows. Heck, uh, what was that? Mystery Science Theater kind of thing. That yeah. was, like, a reaction review sure. way back in the day, you know? <laughs> so it's just interesting to have, like, 
not those big types. I don't feel like we have an ego type of person as much nowadays as we would have, you know, back when it was, well, if you are these people, you have your newspaper, or you have your talk show, and sure. that's how you get it out there, and there's not, yeah, it's not easy enough for, like, anyone can just make a YouTube review channel. Sure. Like, you have, like, an Angry Joe or something yeah. like that, maybe, who's known, like, for maybe being more negative or something like that, but. Yeah, but I think, too, like, you think about that, and you'd be like, well, who else is there? And you could probably name off, like, well, here's four others that are maybe more negative, or here's sure. four others that are a little bit more positive, or here are these people who just like sci-fi stuff, and, like, there's just a lot more options, I suppose, now. Because sure. anyone can make a blog and a video or whatever. Anyone can put their voice out Get there. their voice heard much more easily now than what they could have before. Even though now, though, it's just, like, now it's saturated. Yeah. So now there's a different <laughs> reason of why it's hard to, to get out there. Sure. So... <clears throat> yeah, as far as the movie goes as a whole, like, it was an easy watch. Sure. Like, there's not, there's not, like, I never had, like, an emotional ride watching it. It's just a very, like, comfortable watch, if that makes sense. Sure, okay. But, like, I could see watching this kind of whenever and just enjoying it, but it doesn't have, like, like, a high, high for me. If that makes sense. Gotcha. So I think, like, I think to... like the biggest emotional moment for me, honestly, was a character we spent no time with. It was when Ego jumped back to his childhood. Sure. For some reason, it just connected with me, and I was like, oh, man, I really like this. And then I think that kind of resonated within his review a little bit, because I was still kind of thinking about that. So I liked that moment there, of how it culminated into, we're going to get rid of this guy's ego and bring it down a little bit and let him understand what Gusto was talking about the whole time. So I really like that part. My only disappointment is the food. Like, it looks okay, but it's not, like, anime food delicious. Not anime food delicious? Yeah, not, yeah but anime food is, like, noodles and eggs and, I, and stuff. I know, but, like, you just see it, and it's in such fine detail, and I don't know. It just, just, like... Like, the ratatouille was too much of a rainbow ball? Well, it's just the nature of the art style, you know? Like, it, it all looks kind of rubbery, like... The food just never looked appetizing to me, really. Hmm. Hmm. So you wanted food that you could eat. I gotta look. He's on like I don't know cucumbers and stuff. But I get what you like. The stuff on the side doesn't really look like it has. I Man, it's really thinly sliced. So maybe that's why it's layering maybe. the way it is and stuff. But <clears throat> I don't know if this was a good example. But I think like uh, where is when they first come into the the kitchen? There's a moment. Um, when like you're meeting and seeing everybody doing all their stuff and I just I felt like that moment there was a little bit more man everything looks so good maybe it's here I don't know and maybe it's not that it looks good good but I think yeah. it, maybe it's just that it has the well, co like color and stuff in it you know sure. but I get what you mean everything kind of has even the people have a little bit of a rubbery look to them you know yeah within the animation style so I suppose I get what you mean like you're not gonna get like there's a piece of steak you know, like, are those rolls or are those scallops? <laughs> yeah. like, I'm not sure what those were, you know? Yeah, I don't know. But, sure. That's probably just hard to do, I think, in the animation style as a whole. Probably, yeah. <sighs> but, uh, I mean, the, the people in the kitchen and stuff, like, all the characters I thought were really good. Yeah. I enjoyed the beginning, too, of, like, setting up how kind of, not Ratatouille, but uh, Remy, like, how he has this ability and sure. where he kind of learns to cook is I read a little bit and I watch this and she's always asleep while this cooking show's on <laughs> you know the, the only thing that's a little I guess coincidental I suppose is uh, that they go down the, the, the water and they end up in Paris sure. but I don't know where they were maybe it makes sense of like this black and white local TV show or whatever has Gusto who lives just in, well, in the town you know or I imagine like <clears throat> the world is much bigger to a rat, right? Sure. So, like, you know, they're probably not spreading out too much. Yeah, that's true. Like, if Paris is, like, a few miles away, yeah. like, to us, we're like, ah, that's not too bad. But he goes down the river, he feels like he traveled a whole day, and, you know, here's where he is. So, yeah. Once I got past that part, I was like, man, convenient that they were here. The family's showing up, I'm like, well, he got here. So, obviously, they can get here. Sure. Makes perfect sense there. But yeah, that was... Some, like, laugh out loud moments, definitely. There are definitely some funny moments that I really <laughs> liked. Like, I love the absurdity of just the rats in the old lady's house. Like, they're just so... When the thing falls and there's... Many rats. 
They don't. Like, I don't know what I would do. I would move. You would just leave? Or burn it down. But they all left. They all ran away. I guess so, I yeah. love that she chased them down with her gas mask on, <laughs> shooting at them. Well, she started, yeah, just shooting at this one rat, which made me think of my mom. <laughs> spiders. Because she, she did not like spiders. And there were too many guns in the house. Yeah. I can see that happening in the <laughs> U.S. <laughs> I also, that one guy, whenever the rat showed up, and he was like, I'm going to torch him. <laughs> and he pulled out that, that flame torch thing. I was like, oh, my gosh. Butane torch. Like, that was a moment there. But, no, I don't know. There were some funny moments that I liked. I love the health inspector walking in. All the rats are just there. <laughs> like, if you got to call me, like, hey, I think there's a <laughs> there's a, a rat problem. You need to come and check this out. And you're like, yeah, yeah, I'll get there. And he shows up. And you walk, if you walk into the kitchen and there's just hundreds of rats cooking. Yeah. I don't know what I would do. I also don't know what I would do if I saw a car covered in rats attacking it and it's driving down the street trying to, trying to escape. I love the editing in that scene too where it just cuts to him being thrown in the closet and then later it cuts with the other guy being thrown <laughs> when in. When he walks in, Delta crazy. Squad! <laughs> like, I don't know what I would do if I saw a rat walking on its hind legs. I mean, I've seen them like up, but not like... But not like just walking, strolling. I guess, you yeah, know, like that makes Th- sense. that would be enough to freak me out. Not I alone, seeing a whole kitchen. I like that Remy makes that thing where it's like, anyone touching food, you're walking on two legs. Wash your hands. Don't don't do anything else. But anyone else doing other stuff is okay. The cooking stuff, like they obviously picked it up very quickly for being rats. But sure. Some of the methods were clever of them like sliding down the grater. Cheese grater. Yeah, I like that one. Um, even ratatouille or Remy. I want to call him ratatouille. But his name's not ratatouille. They really mentioned Ratatouille only like two or three times in this whole thing. But um, when he was cooking the soup the first time, I love when like he got to a point and I'm like, what's he doing now? He got that spoon and he just like spun it and then walked up it. I'm like, oh, well, that was clever. Okay. So there is some clever uses of like, how would a rat cook? Yeah. And they, they do that pretty well. I like that a lot. Kind of it made me think of like the bars and uh, Arietti and things where you had the little people. Who are like going to go and borrow things from? Okay, yeah, the, the borrowers. Is that what it was called? Uh, there was a version called the borrowers. I remember a movie called uh, the there's borrowers. There's an anime film called The Legend of Arietti, I think, which is the same story. Okay, it's just done by Hayao Miyazaki. Well, it's not Hayao Miyazaki, but same studio. <laughs> Made me think of it of like using things to climb up to different things. Yeah. At the end, I really like how he had like a ladder up to more ingredients, but then he also had like a little balcony to the window to be able to look out into the, the dining room and see if people were enjoying stuff or not. I thought that was really cool. That's cool. I also really liked how they all, all the rats, like they ran to the river and they just had boats hidden. <laughs> and they sure. hopped in these boats and went down the river. Yeah, like they, they had an escape plan ready. Yeah. I thought that was really good. That was unexpected. Um, another part I liked was that the dad like recognized... Uh, Alphonse, Alfonso like protecting Remy mm. like I like that he was like no you were right there is a there is a change a future can be different you know sure. it doesn't have to be us like I'm assuming those were all fake rats because <laughs> the more I thought about it like, the more I'm like there's no way right there's no way but like looking at that especially as a rat perspective like that would be terrifying I mean, unless they're taxidermy rats which for them would be just as bad sure, I guess yeah. but yeah. it seems like a lot of effort for your display <laughs> Yeah, but maybe it gets it, <laughs> you get your point across, and then you sell stuff. You know, maybe. Yeah. I like the way Colette described bread, the symphony of crackle, mm. like breaking. I, I know exactly what she means too. Sure. Like I've had bread and I've broken it. You hear, you know, like ah, oh, good bread. I think bread is my favorite food. Favorite food. Yeah, like that's just I love good bread. Like, like at Thanksgiving, I would just. Have some of this food and like six dinner rolls. Just a bunch of rolls. <laughs> like I am eating these. I usually don't put butter, on, uh, butter on them or anything. I just love the taste of bread. Mm. I guess it depends on what kind of bread it is. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. But oof. nothing better. Um, I also enjoyed the backstory of a lot of the chefs. Just they all had very different, and it, I think it really fits too with like anyone can cook idea, right? Yeah. Like you had this guy who ran guns for the resistance or you had this guy who was an acrobat in the circus you know like there's all these different like backgrounds, what backgrounds where they came from mm-hmm. and like that's what kind of sells them on the garbage kid making good soup and it's like he's a garbage kid it's like but he made good soup anyone can and we can't get rid of him because of this so 
I, I, I like that. I assume they all worked with Gusto. Like, yeah. I like that that is like he was like willing to bring in whoever. If you can cook good, I don't care. Just come join. I wonder too, because um, like, like she was selling, saying all the backgrounds, but then like, the most extraordinary one was her because she's a woman, mm-hmm. right? I wonder. Uh, I assume that's true in hot cooking and things like. It's probably true in a lot of things, right? Where. Yeah. Well, like when you think of, you know. It's interesting that a lot of people think like, well, you know, the wife cooks the meals, but I guess when you get to the highest level, like. The man is the chef. I guess. Right? Sure. <clears throat> I think it's a thing in uh, in jobs in general, especially when you had, like, well, the men did the working. Sure. You, you got to the point where it's like, well, anytime a woman got to a higher ranking, she always had to prove herself kind of thing. So I think that's what she's talking about there, where it's like, there are no other men in this kitchen. I had to push really hard to get here, and I'm not letting you ruin that for me. Sure. As the only woman in this in this. Yeah, I wonder, kitchen, like... You know? How many five? I'm not even sure. Like in a, in real life, if it's a five star chef or whatever, but sure. like I wonder how many of those are owned by women. Yeah, I don't know. If it's a very small number. I don't, even, I don't think I've ever eaten at a five star restaurant. No, I haven't. But I don't even know how you find that. Like five star Yelp reviews. <laughs> but I don't think it's the same. You remember um, when Ocean's Thirteen? with like the reviewer I wonder if that because there was like an organization that did that for the casino right? yeah it was for the casino yeah it was that one guy and like they yeah I remember that he had a terrible <laughs> he did ter- that poor that poor man but, that poor man uh, I wonder if it's the same like publication that gives out these five stars or something maybe yeah yeah I don't know what the history of five star restaurants and stuff are I don't know like there's also like hotels Right, like hotels, like here's a four star hotel or a five star hotel or whatever. Like, they have them too. Like for us, the closest Italian place, like microwaves frozen lasagna. <laughs> they might put it in the oven, but no, they they do use like Stouffer's frozen lasagna. Yeah. And then sell it as like just lasagna. I mean, Stouffer's lasagna is great, but I can get it more and much cheaper if I just get it from the store and make it myself. Sure. So, no, you're right. Yeah, we're not in... We don't live in Flavortown. No, we don't. <laughs> That's up the way a little bit. <sighs> but yeah, maybe. Maybe that's something I need to look into at some point. Yeah, yeah maybe. It's like seeing, like, like, what's the closest five-star restaurant? <laughs> Where is yeah. it? Yeah, and just, like, see like, what it's like. Like, there's some, like, fancier we, types of restaurants in Marietta that I've just not eaten at. Sure. Maybe they are one, and I don't know it. I mean, that's why I haven't gone there. We do a vlog. We do a vlog. The search for a five-star restaurant. That'd be good. For these uncultured people who don't know <laughs> what tastes good. The last two things I have. One thing I really liked was any time the rats, like there were just a bunch of rats and they all just started running somewhere. Like whenever they were in the restaurant and he's like, what? And like, you're stealing? And they all just took off and ran. Like, I, I don't know. There's something about like all the rats and where they came from. Like I loved when they left the old lady's house and then like squeeze under the door and jumping out the window and stuff and it made me think of Indiana Jones when, like, he's down in the sewers and they start the fire and they're all just trying to climb in to get in anything they can. Sure. I really like that. Oh, I also really like that the way they kind of bring everything around, too, was that Ratatouille's introduced as him thinking about the rat and the name of the dish and how the dishes are, you know, why would you name it Rat Patouille? That doesn't make any sense. Sure. When he was drunk. Yeah. And, and they kind of, like, bring it back later on to, like, what dish do we make? And we make Ratatouille, which... Ego had a, you know, a history with. And that's one of the things, too, is, like, maybe that's, you know, that's a, she called it a peasant dish. Mm-hmm. Like, if he didn't come from any kind of money and it was something common they had, like, lots of people's, like, comfort foods are not, like, a big, expensive, fancy meal, you know? Sure. A lot of times it's, like, mashed potatoes or, you know, macaroni and cheese or whatever. So it, would, it reflects well, yeah, that. Yeah, you're the family, you're making a big thing. Right? Yeah. Like, here, they're making these tiny, tiny dishes. Yeah. With so, expensive ingredients. Yeah. Coming back around to making ratatouille, I, I, I really like that that's like, how do we save this and fix all this? What do we serve this critic? Ratatouille. I wonder, because like when 101 Dalmatians came out, like a number of Dalmatians adopted Sky Rat, uh, Ross, Sky right? Rat, sure. So I wonder if like ratatouille really... Pushed the ratatouille meal? Yeah. Well, or like just... if it became more popular in, or in restaurants. Rats or rats as pets. 
That could be too. You know, Maybe. like I know a few people who have had a rat as a pet. Sure. But I wonder if that jumped up when people were like, oh, look at Ratatouille. Could be. And a lot of kids watching them. this being like, I want a rat. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. But I think it'd be cool. Let us know if you got a rat or ate Ratatouille because of this movie down in the comments below. <gasps> yeah. Or just the rat. Just listen. What? Guys, thank you so much. We hope you enjoyed this movie reaction to Ratatouille. If you guys want to see more movies and also see full lengths, check and out vote. patreon.com slash blindwave where we have early access, full lengths, and we often have polls like every other week of what movies we should be reacting to next. So check more of that out over at patreon.com slash blindwave.